Hi guys, uh, now we're going to show you how to do the basic programming in uh, NACSL 1000 using a browser. First of all, uh, you have to connect the LAN connection from my PABX system to your computer. So for computer IP also you have to change as per NAC default IP. NEC default IP is 192.168.0.10 so you must change the same range so I will give my computer 192.168.0.156 okay. can I close now you're gonna open uh, by using NEC IP this is the IP address so when you enter, yeah, you can see the login. Actually, this is an important thing when you buy any CSL 1000, you have to do some basic programming, like uh, caller ID enabling, then extension numbering, then uh, international call block. By default, there is nothing. So you must do some changes for basic office, like a small offices and all. So now I will give you small instruction for basic programming so username is PECH when you entering the web pro it's password one two three four five six seven eight so you have to log in so this is the main home page of web pro so first of all you have to go to if you want to change the IP address you can go web pro setting then you can change the IP as per your network maybe you can connect your network like one dot 110 whatever whenever you change the IP you should apply then go to home then you have to log out then again restart the NEC system like power off and power on then only IP can change so now we are come to system data to do the programming so go to system data here you can change the date whatever timings and all you can change it from here then just apply so from here this all not necessary which is basic I only going to teach you 11th option system numbering from here six extension digital and page 3 it means it's starting from 200 so 200 three digits so if you're going to use starting from 10 or some two digits are you're going to use so you make it two digit here then apply I will keep three digits then second thing type trunk trunk first dial digit is one so trunk you have to select nine by default uh, first dial digit nine is operator you have to make it trunk wherever you're going to use uh, this for example this is going to use in UAE UAE all numbers starting from 0 so trunk will be 9 is better then uh, for India and somewhere starting from different numbers like 789 so you can keep by default operator is 9 then uh, 0 is trunk first dial digit 0 is trunk for example, if we're going to use in UAE, you select 9 here and do trunk 9 and apply, then select 0 here, then make it operator, then apply. Then you have to go to trunk access code. By default, it's 9. You make it 9 if you use in UAE or somewhere starting from 0. The mobile numbers or whatever make it nine or uh, some digit like seven eight nine then you make it by default so now I'm in UA so I will make trunk access code nine <coughs> then chart you have to go to 1402 analog trunk setup this is using for Caller ID enabling. By default, we have four cards, four CO lines in one board. So you select number one, caller ID, you do enable. Select number two, enable, 
select number three enable select number four enable apply now call already all four trunk is enabled extension setup if you want to give the name for extension you can give the name and apply so immediately you can appear the name in the extensions you can select them now we have uh, eight extensions starting from 200 for 200 you can put some reception whatever number two accounts okay this is just simple thing then incoming call service which is i told you the incoming ring group by default only 200 number is ringing it means reception only ring if somebody calling from outside so 200 will ring the telephone so they can receive and they can transfer to others for example if you want maybe two three all the system you want to make ring you can put which number you want to in the extension then apply Then you have to apply here. Now incoming call ring is finished. Now for international call blocking, I gonna teach you as per UAE. Then uh, you can decide whatever your country can have to do. So first option you have to go to 20 first option. 210607 here you have to do the code tables so table number one I will uh, leave it blank and nothing so there is no lock then table number two I selected here then I will put double zero it's international code double zero then uh, number three single zero so as per UAE, even mobile number starting from zero, so I make it single zero. For example, if you're going to use other country, maybe starting from seven, eight, nine, whatever, you can use your uh, starting number, mobile numbers. So anyway, it will not start this number, so I'll apply. So number four, table number four, I'll put at the rate or whatever, sorry. So it will block all outgoing calls so only work with the intercom like 201 to 203 the office only so next step I have to go to 210508 2105 then 8th option you have to create the restrict table so class number 1 you have to make the class so table number one table number one means which is a given blank before in 210607 option so now i am uh, thinking as a table number one so i'll make table number two again i will make number two table number three i will make for table number three sorry class number four I will make table number four. I will apply. Now next you have to assign twenty one zero four. Twenty one zero four by default mode number two. So two means now you can understand what I given twenty one zero six zero seven option. Twenty one zero six zero seven option. <coughs> I put table number one is blank. <coughs> It means if I give one mode number one to 2104 option, so all will open. You can call international, you can call anywhere, local, anywhere. So if I give number two, double zero will be blocked. So they can call local mobile numbers anyway. When they press double zero, it will not work. 
So code number three, I block code zero, even seven, eight, nine. So they cannot call even local mobile numbers starting from zero, seven, eight, nine, whatever. It's code number four, at the rate, they cannot call any even local calls, landline calls, they cannot do anything. So this is the code one, two, three, four. So you have to assign to extension now. So 2104, you have to go. Now by default is two. Two means international is blocked. You can use for mobile use. So I will give you 200 reception. I will give all open. All eight mode, you have to make changes. Mode is not given, that's why we have to use all modes numbers. So 202, I will make three. So 24 hours, same listing. 204, I will give you four. Will apply now number 200 can call international locals everywhere 201 cannot call international but they can call local mobiles landlines 202 extension user can call only landline which is not used starting from zero or whatever that number given maybe in Dubai or somewhere UAE you can uh, when you call landline you can starting from four or whatever last five seven five digits or seven digits so you can use for three then four four users only can call intercoms only they cannot call outside just apply this is the basic thing you have to do when you're going to install then we have so many options like uh, voice recording system vrs VMS and grouping system and all so in this video I am give only basic system if you want more maybe we can upload next video thank you for watching